Today we're going to use Adobe Muse to make navigation sites where the navigation is frozen to the top of the screen and we scroll using anchor points. So I'm going to start by making a new project and make my maximum width 1366 and the rest of these settings are fine. Now normally you would make navigation in your master page, but we're going to make it in our actual home page this time because we want the navigation to be on top of everything that's within the page. So where normally you would be going to the master page, we're going to make our navigation directly on our home page. Go ahead and open the home page and let's go to our widgets library and choose a horizontal menu bar and we do want it to edit together. I'm going to go ahead and make this the full size of the screen or not the whole full size but pretty big. Now you don't want that to stretch the fit to fit the screen but I like the look of that so what I'm going to do is create a box and I'm going to make it black and let's put that behind so I'm going to right click arrange move to back, send to back. I'm going to put this behind our navigation bar. So what's good about this is I can tell it to stretch to fit the screen. So we'll have a nice black bar across behind everything, but it won't stretch out our navigation. I'm going to make this a little bit longer so I can put the sub page navigation right underneath it. So let's go ahead and make a text box. And let's go ahead and make this font white so we can see it over the black background. Now this sub navigation can be whatever you need it to be for your page. If you've got separate areas within the page that you want to be able to separate, this is the perfect way to do it. Now I have chosen jobs, instructors, hands-on, and graduates. Okay, I'm going to center that. And let's make it a little bit bigger to highlight it. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so those are going to be the sections within the home page that we want to kind of separate out. Now all of these things are on layer one. So everything else that we make we need to put on a separate layer and we want it to be underneath layer 1. So I've like I've locked layer 1 so that we know that we can create everything in layer 2. I'm going to go ahead and pull this down because we want this to be a long site. So I'm going to extend the page make sure we're on layer 2 I'm just going to make some text boxes let's call this one jobs this is just to designate the areas that we want on our page now of course you would put different content inside that and this is pretty ugly but it's just for me to show you what this content was so let's say we have some content right here that is for jobs change this a little bit. Okay, so this is a section heading and underneath that we're going to write some stuff about jobs. I'm going to go ahead and make copies of this so I can make some other sections. So alternate drag, that'll be our second section. Zoom out a little bit. So, Oops. Let's zoom out so we can see what we're doing. And I'll pull this page down a little bit more. There we go. Alternate drag and alternate drag. So these are our four sections of our web page. And here at the bottom we're going to write back to top. We want them to be able to get back to the top of the page because this is a pretty long page. So on the job the 
on the first section, we're going to add an anchor point. We'll call this anchor point jobs. I'm going to grab the anchor point tool again. And let's call this one instructors. Let's get another anchor point for hands on. And when you're typing hands on, it won't it will not let you it just gave me the warning, it won't let you leave a space. So just be aware you can't write a space when you're making an anchor point. And the last one's going to be called graduates. And of course we need to change these section headers. So what we've done is told the computer different little breakpoints, and they're, they're called anchor points, on the page that we want to set up within our code so that we know where they are. We're also going to add one at the very top and call that top. Okay, so let's zoom back in where we can see what we're doing. And go back up to the top here where we have our sub navigation. So let's select the first part, jobs, and I'm going to hyperlink to the jobs anchor point. Same thing with instructors, instructors anchor point, hands on anchor point, so hyperlink, hands on. graduates. Okay, now these look pretty ugly, so let's kind of go into the hyperlink right here, and you can see they've chose some really gaudy colors, so I also don't like the underline, so let's get rid of all the underlines, and I'm just going to change all of these to be pretty simple white. So when it's active, it'll be white. That looks much better. And of course, back down on the bottom, we need to add a hyperlink here, back up to the top of the page. Okay, that should be set up. So all of our navigation is together on layer one. We're going to double click on that to select everything in layer one. Zoom back up to the top. You can see they're all selected. So let's get our move tool, our selection tool. And right up here at the top, we're going to pin that entire layer to the top of our screen. So let's see what that looks like in publish. I'm sorry, let's see what that looks like in preview. OK. So when we scroll down, you can see that it goes behind the navigation because all of this is on layer 2. It's going under layer 1. Now let's see what happens with our hyperlinks. Jobs goes to Jobs, Instructors. Now it's glitching a little bit in preview. And we have another problem. Our points are not set up right. So let's move them up just a little bit. And I think this will do better when we're in preview. And another thing that we needed is we needed some extra space down at the bottom so that it could scroll down far enough for, to let us see graduates. So let's just make the page a tad bigger. Just a little bit bigger at the bottom so it has room. That should work. Go ahead and move down the top button. Go ahead and make that a different color. Okay, let's preview this again. All right, this time when we click Jobs, see that looks better. The glitch is just in the preview. Hands on, graduates, and back to top. There you go. It's a really simple way to do this, and it looks pretty good.